Raids across East London continued on Monday. Following Saturday's terror attack in London Bridge, where at least seven people were killed and scores injured when three knife-wielding attackers led a deadly rampage through the capital. There's more people running out of this situation. The three assailants were killed by the police at the scene of the attack. I'm not going to comment on their identities at this stage. Um, you will appreciate that we have a very fast-moving investigation. Uh, we do believe we know who they are. Uh, we've made a number of arrests. We're trying to find out whether anybody was helping them and to understand the background to this attack as best we possibly can. On Monday morning, police officers entered two new addresses in New Women Barking in East London, where a number of people were detained, but no arrests were made. Police raids on Sunday resulted in 12 arrests. What do you got on I just looked from my window and I saw one man um, on the floor. And, uh, and there was this lady right next to him as well. And then uh, I thought it was just one man and there was like loads of police cars and everybody was just around. And then I came into my balcony and I saw like three more men like uh, on, on the floor. One resident says he thinks one of the attackers was a neighbor, known for advocating religion. It was like a missionary things, uh, approaching uh, people, uh, not older, but youngest people my age or kids, uh, speaking about religions, Muhammad, uh, this kind of stuff. We're not sure what's going on. We heard, we've heard gunshots. A Western security official said at least one of the attackers was born in Pakistan. It wasn't clear when the man came to the UK or whether he had received British nationality. Islamic State claimed responsibility for the attack through its official news agency. The assault suggests a growing tempo of attacks. In terms of their planning and execution, the recent attacks are not connected. But we believe we are experiencing a new trend in the threat we face as terrorism breeds terrorism. And represents a particular challenge to authorities in Britain and across the West. But we've now seen uh, these ghastly attacks uh, in London and in Manchester over the last several weeks. Uh, during that time, we've also foiled another five plots. Uh, so yes, of course, I think it's appropriate for us all uh, to look at the amount of resource that the police have 